everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day and night whenever you're watching this. Today's video is going to be a compilation of three different fall clothing pieces. They're going to consist of an Ugg boot, a scarf, and a sweater with a pumpkin on it. So to start off, I'm going to start by outlining the bottom of the Ugg boot with an off-white color, kind of a cream, and then I'm going to fill it in and smooth it out with my scarf tool. And now I'm going to go in with my brown royal icing and begin outlining the different sections of the boot. I'm going to start with the heel and then move to the top of the boot and I'm going to leave a little slit down the center and then I'm going to fill in the other side and then we'll fill in the toe. So now that I've got my outline, it becomes just a process of filling in all the different sections. So I'm going to start with the top left, Let's fill that in, and then use the scribe tool to smooth that out after I fill in the opposite side. Next, I'm going to fill in. I'm going to fill in the heel portion of the boot. I'm leaving. I'm giving it about 15 minutes between each section to dry, so that it has a chance just to crust. And that way, they won't, you know, mess up and you know, mesh together or anything. Now it's time to fill in the toe of the boot. And time to smooth it out. The Sug boot, it really, really is cute and it is pretty simple to make. Uh, the biggest part is figuring out where your sections are. If you have a projector, that works in your favor. If you don't, the sections are pretty easy to kind of figure out on your own. You can also use the tissue paper method um, to help you figure that out, but really it is kind of easy to just kind of look at and figure out as well. Now I'm going to take some stiff white royal icing and I'm going to do the kind of furry top, the little Sherpa lining top, and I'm going to have it go down the side as well. So it's just kind of going up and down and kind of leaving it kind of all blocky and everything so that it kind of maintains that fluffy look. Now that we're moving on to the scarf, I'm going to fill in the center where your neck goes, just with some red, and I'm going to smooth that out with the back of the paddle portion of a thingamajini just to make sure it's flat on the cookie you could use a paintbrush as well but this is just going to give a bit of color to the background not really any height now it becomes a process of just outlining everything and then we'll go back in and fill in all the sections with our royal icing
So now I'm going to fill in the portion that's actually going around the neck with the royal icing to start off with. And just fill it in and then smooth it out with the scarf tool. And like I said before, you can also use a toothpick if you have that. And I always like to take it right to the edge and if I can, a little bit on top, that makes your icing appear poofy. Now I'm going to fill in the right hand, uh, what is it, tail? Yeah, tail of the scarf. And this is also exactly like the Ugg boot, 15 minutes between each section. So that when the two uh, sections touch, they don't mesh together, they don't blend together. They are their own separate section. In 15 minutes, we'll normally do that uh, of drying time. Now we're going to fill in the left section and then we're going to start doing the knit pattern on the top of the cookie. So for the knit pattern, this is going to be a stiff red royal icing. And the easiest way that I know how to do it is to start off by taking your straight lines. And I always like to put like either two together and then do a large space and do one. You'll see what I'm talking about. Sorry. So I kind of draw or <laughs> pipe two lines together and then it's going to be a large space and a single line. Uh, well, it's a double line, but it, you know what I mean. So there's a kind of a large gap in between the two sets of lines. And it's just a simple border on the bottom. And we're going to do some fringe down there. And this is me just putting in some more lines for the knit book. Okay, going back in on the other side for a couple more lines. Okay, for those spaces that you left between the two lines, uh, you're going to put the little puffy bits. Like if you look at a knit thing, you'll see the, the little. I don't know, the yarn puffs, that's what I'm going to say, um, on there. What I like to do is kind of make a, a heart. So I'm going to put one line down and then you're going to cross the second line. Instead of coming to meet at the bottom point like a heart would, it would go right underneath that. So it's slightly off and you just kind of go back and forth. So it's kind of an oddly shaped heart all the way down. And if that seems, if the off center heart doesn't seem to work, you can just do a straight up heart. It's fine. Now that I finished the tails of the scarf, I'm going to go in and do the sides of the neck. And the final thing I'm going to do is add some fringe to the bottom of the little scarf tails and everything. And those are just going to be straight lines coming from the kind of um, the bordered portion at the bottom of the knit line. So it just gives it a nice finishing touch. And I think it turned out pretty well. So 
So this final cookie is going to be a navy blue sweater with a pumpkin on it and I absolutely love this. It is super simple and there's a certain elegance I believe in its simplicity. Uh, I use this as one of my short videos and people seem to really like it. So here's the longer version with the tutorial. So I'm going to start by outlining the sweater and the cuffs. I really liked this navy blue. I like this how it turned out and everything when I mixed it. Um, I believe this cutter is from Cut It Out Cutters. So it's just a simple outline of cuffs and the body of the sweater and the arms. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to fill in the body and arms of the sweater. All right, and smooth everything out with the scribe tool. After I get everything smoothed out, it's going to dry for about 15 minutes so that we can come back and fill in the cuffs and nothing will mesh together. And here we are filling in the cuffs. It's really simple. Two tiny rectangles. And I'm gonna smooth those out just to make sure that there aren't any like air pockets in there that can make it crack or dip. So the next thing is going to be to add the pumpkin to the center of the sweater. Um, I actually really enjoy making pumpkins. Uh, they're I find them fairly easy to make because pumpkins aren't totally perfect, but um, I just start out with a tiny dot, squeeze a bit harder, and then start letting up pressure by the time I get to the bottom, and it can always be fixed with a scribe tool if a certain tip or whatever got out of hand and started going somewhere else. Then the sides are just like little C's, well, a C and a backward C. And we're going to smooth that out too. And this is going to have five like different sections of the pumpkin. So I'm going to come back in and do the last two sections. And it's like another C and backwards C. I'm going to smooth everything out. And then it will be time to put on the stem, which is just going to be a little tiny brown stem. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Until next time, bye!